Hello and welcome back to the Leadership Blog. Having a fantastic time to here today here at the KPI event. And I'm with today Mindy Gibbons Klein. She's the founder of the book Midwife. Uh, if you ever want to get involved in book writing, and publishing books, knowing how and the purpose of writing books, Mindy Gibbons Klein is the person to speak to. So I had the pleasure today of speaking to her about leadership. So, you know how we do, straight back in there, Mindy. Over to you. Thank you so much for your time today. I feel really privileged and honored to have the opportunity to share with you. Um, you know, shared with the guys that you are the book, book, wife, book midwife, even the founder of Book Midwife, and you're an expert at writing, publishing, helping others to write and publish their books. Um, so the blog is all about leadership. So I'd love to just to hear from you really briefly, sort of um, your views on leadership. Now, first of all, what is a leader and what is leadership? Leadership simply means that you have a vision and that you understand where you're going and ideally you take other people with you. Uh, I've been working in thought leadership and thought leadership are your ideas, the, the things that sound a bit new and different and exciting and creative and things that people really need to hear to shift society to the next level. For me that's the most important aspect of leadership is you know the things that need to change it's the leaders that are going to, to take us there. So actually, it's not about a book. A book is a really convenient way to get your message across and to get your ideas packaged up. But it's not about the book at all. It's about that book going out there and making that difference and changing the world. And with a book, you can do a whole lot more than you could if you were just talking or networking every day. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So um, I mean, I've heard your, some of your journey today and I've, and I've read some of your journey. I know you've achieved some fantastic things. What have been the key leadership principles that you've had to observe uh, or put into practice along your journey? I think um, commitment is the most important thing. If, if, if somebody has that desire to be a leader and they, they're passionate and they have something to share, it, it's, everybody starts out very gung-ho, very excited, with the best intentions. And then what happens? Life gets in the way, right, Earl? Yeah, <laughs> life can get in the way for some absolutely. people. It's, real. it's how you respond to that because mm. life isn't going to stop getting in the way. Yeah. Things aren't going to stop uh, happening and trying to distract you it's and true. derail you. And you'll have challenges. And the best leaders, the, the strongest ones and the ones that inspire the most people, are the ones who've overcome that, who've said, you know what, I didn't realize I would have this much work this month, I'll just work a bit harder, sleep a bit less, make a few sacrifices, Come on now. you know? That it's just very inspirational when you yeah. see people who are willing to stick their heels in the ground and say, I've committed to this yeah. and I'm not giving up. Awesome, awesome. And um, just again, along your journey, I mean, I know there's some guys watching this now, they're, they're up and coming leaders, maybe they've not, they've not even thought of writing a book yet, and mm. um, there's potential in them, I call them the, um, the emerging leaders, those who are next in line. And if you could just speak to some of those guys right now, just give them a word of encouragement. Absolutely. Yeah. See, the thing is, we, we, we have this idea that we need to have experienced so much, we need to be however many years old and all this. We all have things inside us mm -hmm. that we could use to help others. It's all about having the desire to help. And we can all help others, isn't it true? Yeah. So what you need to do first of all is say, what have I actually observed, even in my short life, at, that could help someone else? What mm -hmm. insights have I got? Perhaps you've been through something challenging, mm -hmm. which we all have. Mm -hmm. And then just to take that and shape that and say, how would that experience help somebody else, possibly help them avoid it, or if it happens, help them deal with it, so you can lead mm -hmm. somebody else, anybody else, so there's, you don't need to know more than everybody else. You don't need to know everything in the world. That will never happen. Mm -hmm. So are there little pockets in your own community and in society where you can already play a leadership role, even if it's holding one person and leading them by the hand awesome. to something better and, and you know, helping them through that? That's great. And just finally, Mindy, just, um, I'd like to get like, the, one, the one key thought, really. Um, a key thought that's going to help someone to be an effective leader in this generation. What do you think that will be? I think the key is is just relaxing and, and breathing and going inside and asking what is that gift you've been given? Because we all have been given a gift, yeah. a different gift. 
you mm -hmm. each have a unique gift. So to, to really ask yourself, you know, what is it that inspires you more than anything else? Mm -hmm. What is it that you could bring out? Mm -hmm. And it can be a bit scary. It can be a sort of stepping into greatness mm -hmm. challenge. And that's exactly what's being asked wow. of us. And about 10% of us will step up and rise to that challenge. Wow. I hope it's you. That's great. Minnie, thank you so much for your time and your contribution to the blog today. We really appreciate that. And uh, we wish you all the best in all of your endeavors. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.